For the last 10 days, the state superintendent's office has provided the public information on school busing delays. We found in that time span, things have not gotten better. All Dalila Kelly wants is for her 11-year-old son who has special needs to get to school on time. But lately, that's been more the exception than the norm. Either the bus is extremely late, they don't show up. Last Wednesday, she said her son was picked up after school an hour and a half late, and she received no communication as to where he was. When they arrived to the school, they didn't have their manifest. So they didn't know which children belong on the route. It's scary for parents like us. Knowing that your child, your special needs child, is lost for over an hour. Such delays aren't new or unique either. On January 17th at 7.30 a.m., Ossie said 82 bus routes either had a longer ride time or a delayed pickup time. Today, there were 87 such routes. That's more than the daily average amount of impacted routes these last 10 days. So what's going on? Ossie says there's a shortage of drivers and it's experienced higher than average staff call-outs. The mayor, who appoints the superintendent, commented on the matter today. We are trying to improve um, the attendance of our current workforce while at the same time growing our workforce. Um, so I, I have to apologize to our parents for the inconvenience. Last week, Ossie added it has 25 drivers in attendance in the final stages of pre-employment. In the meantime, they're offering impacted families reimbursement if they have to drive their kids to school or send them via rideshare. Kelly says the latter is not an option for her son with special needs. My child also doesn't like new people, so putting him in a rideshare wouldn't be good for him. From Northwest, John Henry, WUSA 9.